Hi guys, welcome back to Debbie's Collectible Dolls and I'm here to do Theme Thursday on a Thursday. I had to make up for last week because last week I didn't upload Theme Thursday until Saturday so I thought this week, actually I just happened to have a free day so <laughs> anyway yeah we're here to do the bears and fuzzy theme um because I got lucky um we've got Elisha he is the Kyra, Kira, sculpt, I think, by Nikki Johnson. You know what? I need to start checking my um, records before I do these videos so I can tell you exactly who they are. But he was uh, reborn by Samantha Rose Harker. And he is here to do the bears part of the theme. As you may already have guessed, he is wearing this grey sleeper with little bears all over them. They've got little black ears and uh, white patches around their black nose and uh, black closed eyes with little little black hairs on the top of their head and uh, there's a matching hat for some reason my watch is vibrating I guess I must be getting some messages it's very distracting and I put a grey woolly cardigan on top there because it's quite chilly and uh, yeah he's he's very relaxed he doesn't have a teddy bear he has a zebra i think this is that he came with here um and he's just he's just relaxed and chilled and i think i need to throw that zebra in the wash <laughs> what do they do with their stuff i mean i don't know it's like the mystery of the socks getting dirty i'm very very suspicious of the fact that the underneath of um my doll socks get wobbly makes you wonder if toy story got it right and then over here we have my little maggie and uh, you might be wondering at first where the bears are, but they are, in fact, on the sleeves. She's wearing a pinafore dress that is, um, it's a lovely yellowy colour, like a soft yellow um, corduroy pinafore dress. And I got this for my cousin for Christmas and I love it. It's a little bit big on her, but I just kind of took it on a little bit at the back. Uh, it's got these pockets that have got bunnies. I believe these are bunnies. Um, and underneath it's got this long sleeved white onesie with kind of little angel wings at the top of the long sleeves butterfly wings I can't remember what they call those sleeves but there they are and uh, then it's got outlines of various animals and as you can see on the onesie there's a bear there there is a bear um, there's also cats here and uh, raccoons and let's see it's upside down there's a dog over there various animals it's really really cute but uh we're here for the bears right now so there is the bear and little pink black and blue polka dots on there as well really very sweet and then we put the soft fuzzy hat on there and i think this is meant to be a bear because it's got ears with a little bow tied around, around one of the ears it's so sweet i love this and it's really really soft fluffy and material i mean it goes out of focus when i go close to it but you can see it is a fuzzy material it's one of my favorite hats i bought this i think when i only had one doll <laughs> such a long time ago when i just had hannah but it's such a sweet hat and uh she looks lovely with bears and fuzzy and he's just got the bears there i mean this is wool i guess it's soft it's not really fuzzy wool but there he is so uh yeah there are my two babies for theme Thursday. Oh, by the way, she is the Joanna Sculpt by Bountiful, ba Bountiful Babies. And I can't remember whether she was reborn by Samantha Rose Harker or Lydia Harker, the daughter of Sam. I think she was Sam Harker. Honestly, the paint style is so similar. Um, I'm just going to kneel back down here. I bought that tripod and I've barely used it because when I have more than one, in theme Thursday I'm moving around from one doll to the other so having a tripod isn't very sensible but when I just have the one I set the tripod up so I need to do a theme Thursday with just one or maybe a changing video maybe it's time to do a changing video I'm not very comfortable with changing videos because it takes me so long to change them because I'm as careful with the rebonds as I am with the silicones to be honest so it take a while um Update on my mouth situation. As some of you may know, I had a tooth out last week. Um, no pain. I haven't had to have any painkillers whatsoever. 
which is good. I did actually take some painkillers, but not for pain, just for the swelling. Um, I took some ibuprofen for the swelling because it's still really swollen. Um, it doesn't look swollen if you look at me. My face looks normal. I have a round face, but it doesn't look swollen. Um, but inside, if you look at my gum, it does look swollen, red and swollen, and it feels swollen to me. So I've taken some ibuprofen and um, hopefully that will help. I'm still rinsing my mouth twice a day with the salt. I have to do that for a week. Um, it's causing my lips to crack, so I'm going through so much lip balm. I've mentioned before that I have a dry mouth, so it's not helping. You can probably hear my mouth sounds dry, <laughs> extra dry, because I'm rinsing it with salt. My lips are cracked and the salt's getting in my lips and it's just not very comfortable. But I can stop doing that on Saturday. Um, I'm using some Corsidol mouthwash now to try and get some of the swelling down. Uh, and if it's not better by next week, I'm going to give the dentist a ring. I nearly said vet. The vet did not take my tooth out. <laughs> Could have gone down that route, but I'm not sure what the vet would have said. Um, so that's the update with that. It seems to be healing fine looking at it. It looks fine. It's just the swelling and the redness. But um, yeah, that's the update on my tooth. I have got to go back there on the 8th to have them investigate my crown. I've been doing a bit of research on crowns and what can happen underneath the crowns. Um, mine had shifted a little bit. I can see looking at it, though it shifted a little bit away from the gum. So I suspect there's been some food getting in there. So I'm not very hopeful for the condition of my tooth. Uh, but we shall see. That's coming up in February. And uh, yeah, all updates done. It's such a shame that they wouldn't let me go to the dentist earlier. But um, we all know why that was. Anyway, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a lovely upcoming weekend. And <laughs> it's Thursday. I can't believe I'm doing this video on Thursday. I'll get this uploading while I'm doing some vacuuming, I think. All right, guys, from me and these two peaceful little beans here, I will say goodbye and have a good one and uh, see you all later. Bye-bye, guys.